Hi there, it's Beverly here over at Crafting Chaos with another video for you. What I'm aiming to make today is a wobbler card, a scalloped wobbler card. And we're going to jump right in and get on with it. So I'm just going to bring on a scalloped circle shape. And I'm going to resize it to 5 inches by 5 inches. Keeping the maintain the aspect the ratio selected. I'm hitting 5 on my keyboard. And that will resize it accordingly. I'm then going to bring on a rectangle and I'm going to position it roughly halfway at the halfway point of the scallop circle and then I'm going to process the overlap and subtract. That leaves us with a half of the shape that we originally had. At this point I'm going to bring on a rectangle shape which is going to connect the two halves together eventually. What I'm going to do with that one is I'm just going to leave it at approximately four inches but I'm going to shrink down the size of it in the height so that it's not four inches by four inches and I do want it to be four inches wide so I'm just going to go in and change that to four inches and I'm going to select OK on my keyboard and I'm going to fit it at the centre I'm going to select both and then line them up vertically then edit, process the overlap and weld so that's how we're looking I'm then going to duplicate, edit flip on the horizontal axes and line these two shapes up pretty much together. So I'm going to then select both, line them up on the vertical axes and edit and weld. And that's created the basis of our wobbler card and at the minute you can see it's approximately 6 by 5. So I'm just going to increase the height a little but I want to keep the aspect ratio checked. So I'm going to increase that and we can now see that we've got it to, we want to try to go up to roughly 8 so that we're not too small. Because you can adjust this any size you want once you've cut it out. But just to make the sorting out. Okay, so I'm just going to make that dead, dead on 8 and say OK and it'll adjust the size accordingly. So now we've got one that's almost 6 inches wide and 8 inches tall. So I'm going to now put on a score line here so we need to know the dimension of the cards and at the moment this is 8 inches by 5.93 inches so I'm going to bring on a square and we're going to make it 4 by 5.93 so I need to uncheck the aspect ratio and make that 4 by 5 0.93 I think that's the right way around if not we can adjust it okay so that's going to be about right there that's going to be half of the shape and it's not 5.93 wide in this position so we just need to shrink that one into level or just about level with the middle and like that so so this is where we've got and it's not quite if I zoom in touching the other side of the thing and I've done that on purpose because I don't want my score length line to extend beyond the edge but be close enough to the edge so that we get a decent score so I'm going to now go view fit to mat <coughs> going to select both shapes and I'm going to edit and align them to the top okay and also to the middle like so so that one now is directly in at the top and the middle there so i'm going to double click to expose the nodes click on this one here so that one's selected and we're going to click on minus that node then we need to click on this one here and we're going to click on minus the node and that's left that one at the center so i'm going to click on this zoom button that will automatically select the line and I'm going to make it a cutting line 
and a perforating line and this is my preferred one so it's not too deep and not too wide so it's not cutting into your card drastically and I'm going to click off and that's where we're up to so you can see that that's put that square line in and it's not extending to the end of the card so you're not going to end up with a, a cut in the end there so then I'm going to view fit to map I'm going to select everything and I'm going to edit and group what we've made so when we fold that there that's going to make our wobbler card what we could do now is make some mats for on the front so we know that the width of this part here was a, we can get that approximately if we just bring on I'm going to bring on a scallop square and we can fit it on because we, we're going to have it lower down when it's folded so that it can pop up above it and I'm just going to resize that a little and I think I'm going to make it 4.25 square and see how that looks so I'm going to maintain the aspect ratio make it 4.25 and sorry I needed to I've not done it beforehand but 4.25 so that's 4.25 inches square now so that would sit there and obviously this would be folded down towards the back and this would be our, one of our matting layers for the front now just to add a little bit of interest so I'm going to just change the shade of the card and making it a pale pink and I'm going to make this one a sort of Lulu lavender cover colour I'm going to go on edit create an offset line I'm going to go to 0 0.08 inches inward say OK and then I'm going to click in the middle to select the line that we've just created and I'm not sure if I've just moved that so I'm just going to undo and click it again I think I just nudged it slightly so I've just undone that step and make a perforated line which gives us that four stitched effect so now I'm going to group those two together so that now I can move that so this would come on here and what I thought might be pretty is if you were ma now made a square matting layer to go in the middle but I'm going to make it a rounded square so I'm just going to shrink it down so that it fits in I'm just doing this by eye till I get it to a size that I like and at the minute now that's about three I'm going to make it dead on three inches so I'm going to hit maintain aspect ratio on three and then that's made as a nice layer and I'm just going to select both of those and centre them both horizontally and vertically to get it smack in the middle like so. And then we could make that um, the similar pink to what the card's made from, just for argument's sake. I'm just going to group them and then I thought it might be a bit quirky to do an angle. So I'm going to do a 45 degree turn. So that if you imagine that's how it would mat onto your wobbler and your wobbler would wobble there. So that kind of would come level with the two score lines like so. And then you can put your own stamp or design or something similar on that. Alternatively, you could just do it um, facing straight out without doing the thumb. But I just thought that I'd make an interesting shape mat for the wobbler card. What you could do if you wanted to is... Um, you could then think about what you wanted to add to the middle and it could be flowers or floral these things could just be a sentiment or I, I think it, in my case it's probably going to be a stamped image I've just got a really cute little stamp um, that looks like um, a lady dress something similar to Audrey Hepburn and it's actually got a quote on it from Audrey Hepburn and I thought that I'd make a really nice um, stamp from the centre of this coloured in with either Copics or watercolours and then I intend to like dress it up with a few, few <coughs> handmade flowers or something similar a few pearls and things so that's the basic shape card um, it's really simple to make and I hope you've enjoyed the video now if you're enjoying the videos, please keep coming along and watching them. Make sure you like and share and subscribe where possible. If you've got any friends that you think might benefit from them, please let them know where I am, where you can find me. And do remember that I include all of the files that I make on my blog at beverly10.blogspot. And you can download all of those files for free. I have them there in FCM and FCSVG format. 
so if your machine doesn't take F FCM you could, and you've got a different machine from a brother you can still cut them if your machine takes SVGs so that's the the um, shaped scallop shaped wobbler card and I just thought that could be really pretty for uh, one of your best girls birthdays all right thanks for watching and I'll see you soon bye